Hi there, welcome to this channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the most powerful U.S. missile defense systems, which is Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD. THAAD is an advanced anti-ballistic missile defense system designed to intercept and neutralize short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles during their terminal phase, which refers to the missile's final descent or re-entry. Developed in response to the missile threats witnessed during the Gulf War, specifically the Scud missile attacks by Iraq in 1991, the AD has grown into a key element of the United States defense strategy. Today, it is deployed across various parts of the world to counter potential missile threats and protect both U.S. and allied nations from ballistic missile attacks. Let's explore THAAD's background, development history, and its impressive capabilities in the field of missile defense. But if you are new to the channel, subscribe to stay tuned for future content. Background and Development THAAD traces its origins back to the late 1980s. In 1987 the U.S. government identified the need for a system capable of defending against ballistic missile attacks. By 1991 this requirement became formalized, with the Gulf War serving as a wake-up call for more advanced missile defense technology. Iraq's Scud missiles posed significant threats during that war, and the United States realized the necessity for an advanced anti-missile system to prevent such attacks in the future. Lockheed Martin was selected as the prime contractor for THAAD development in 1992. Interestingly, the system's development benefited from previous missile defense research programs, such as the High Indo-Atmospheric Defense Interceptor Chetty, and the Kinetic Kill Vehicle Integrated Technology Experiment KITE. These initiatives helped lay the groundwork for THAAD's kinetic energy-based interception, where the missile destroys its target through a direct hit, not through an explosive warhead. This concept is called Hit to Kill. The first flight test for THAAD took place in 1995, but the program faced several early challenges. The initial tests, particularly flights 4 through 9, failed to hit their targets, which raised questions about the system's feasibility. However, persistence and continued testing paid off, and in June 1999, THAAD successfully intercepted a HERA missile, marking a major turning point in the program. Another successful intercept followed in August of the same year, further validating the system's effectiveness. The ad was originally intended for deployment in 2012, however, it became operational much sooner, with the first deployment taking place in May 2008. Since then, the system has been deployed in various countries, including the United Arab Emirates, Israel, Romania, and South Korea, making it a critical component in protecting allied nations from missile threats. Capabilities and Performance Now let's focus on what THAAD can do, and why it's regarded as a state-of-the-art missile defense system. THAAD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles in their terminal phase which means during the final stage of their flight. This is important because when a missile reaches its terminal phase, it is descending toward its target, often at incredibly high speeds. Intercepting a missile at this stage presents unique challenges, but also provides an opportunity to neutralize the threat before it hits its intended target. One of the defining features of THAAD is that it uses kinetic energy to destroy incoming missiles. Unlike traditional defense systems that rely on explosive warheads, THAAD's interceptors do not carry any explosives, instead they rely purely on the impact of collision known as the hit-to-kill method. The sheer speed and precision with which the interceptor strikes the missile at high altitude are enough to obliterate the target, this means THAAD can neutralize threats without risking additional explosions that could occur with traditional explosive warheads. Another key advantage of THAAD is its altitude range. It can intercept missiles both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere, providing layered defense. This dual capability gives THAAD flexibility in how it approaches different missile threats. The system also comes equipped with advanced radar technology that tracks incoming missiles with high precision. THAAD's radar can detect, classify and provide trajectory data for interceptors to home in on targets. This makes it highly effective in real-time threat scenarios, where swift action is necessary to counter missile attacks. The system is also highly mobile. It is designed to be quickly deployed and redeployed, providing flexibility for military operations across different geographic regions. This means that THAAD can be transported via air, land or sea, allowing it to be positioned in areas that are most vulnerable to missile threats. This mobility makes THAAD particularly valuable in protecting critical infrastructure and population centers. 
operational use, and successes. Thayad has already demonstrated its capabilities. One notable example occurred in January 2022, when Thad made its first operational interception of an incoming hostile medium-range ballistic missile. This occurred in the United Arab Emirates, where Thad successfully neutralized the threat, marking a significant milestone in the system's operational use. Additionally, Thad has been deployed in South Korea as part of a broader defense strategy to protect against potential threats from North Korea. Its presence in South Korea has added a critical layer of defense, complementing other systems like the Patriot Missile Defense and the sea-based Aegis system. Global Deployment and Partnerships THAAD's deployment isn't limited to the United States. The system is used by several allied countries, reflecting its importance in the global defense landscape. The United Arab Emirates, Israel, Romania and South Korea all have THAAD systems in place, providing them with a significant boost in missile defense capabilities. In addition to these partnerships, THAAD complements the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, a sea-based missile defense platform. While THAAD operates on land, Aegis offers a complementary layer of missile defense at sea, with some land-based components known as Aegis Ashore. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has provided you with valuable insights into the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. Don't forget to subscribe.